Hi, this is Tommy from Brotherhood of the Bearded Pig. Thank you for joining me. Today, I'm gonna remove my windscreen and install this riser kit from 3D Designs. What I'm doing is removing the windscreen with these four Allen bolts. They come provided with these little plastic washers to try to keep it lock lockable, vibrating loose, but I'm gonna install some Loctite when I go to resecure them. So, as you can see, four screws removes the windscreen. Now what I'm going to do is take off the brackets that came on the KLR. It is a four millimeter Allen screw. looking online earlier at 3D Designs. Looks like they're doing a lot of aftermarket parts for the KLR. I think that's pretty nifty. So you can see everything is clearly labeled which side goes where. So not only do they provide the brackets but they also provide some Loctite. Brake side, sticker faces out, remove after install. And this should thread in that way. All right. This is a different sized screw or Allen wrench. I'm guessing it's the three millimeter. You have to remove the threaded screws, place them in the bracket. The thing I find interesting about KLRs is that they're relatively easy to work on. And if you're not completely mechanically inclined or mal prone to maladroit actions, you can do these modifications yourself. You might not think you're mechanically inclined at all until you have that opportunity and you actually figure out you really can do stuff you never thought you could before. The Loctite does, if you don't know, provides a little bit of grippiness to the threads of your bolts keeps them from vibrating free. A uh, thumper like the KLR. What you see I'm doing here is just adding the tiniest little bit around the thread. Do that little dab, and that's plenty. Your 
typical Loctite brands. Blue means vibration. It, it prevents a screw from loosening or a bolt from loosening from vibration. Purple generally means it's a bit stronger. And red means you never want that thing to come off. Usually requires heat, a lot of torque to remove red Loctite. All right, so our first bracket is just about where it needs to be. Now we'll move on to the second bracket. Again, clearly labeled clutch side, sticker faces out, remove after install. Seems like everybody has the trick of putting a bolt in their mouth while they're holding it. Just gonna get a finger tight for the moment. Lock tight up the other bolt. And then we'll finger start it again. And going back to my first video, I mentioned the wind noise. Even though I raised the bracket or the windscreen up on the bracket, Standing at six foot one, I was getting hammered in the face with the, uh, the wind coming over the windscreen. So the idea behind this windscreen extender by 3D designs, or 3D parts, <clears throat> is it raises the windscreen up about three inches, but it also pushes it forward. Throw a little Loctite on these as well. She will double check. It's the correct angle. Looks like it is. Again. I have to trade out four millimeter to the five millimeter Allen. Excellent. So now I have the 3D cycle, or 3D parts, uh, extenders, and the brackets for the windscreen back secured. So now we're going to grab the windscreen, retrieve the bolts from my pocket. Again, a little bit of Loctite.
finger start our first bolt. Loctite the second bolt. Start that one. Number three. I can already tell how much taller that's standing. I doubt we'll get a ride in tonight. But I think this is going to be exactly what was needed. So now I'm going to switch my Allen key over to the number five and we'll snug these up. I did not look up the torque specs for this part. So I'm just going to snug it up until the little rubber washer that's on the end of the bolt starts to spread out a little bit. Between that and the Loctite, it should hold. So, as you can see, 